Hey, what's up everybody? It's Tatiana Jade here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing a smoky makeup look today, so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into it. So I'm using the Porefessional Primer by Benefit Cosmetics and rubbing that in all over my skin. And I'm going to give my brows some shape before I fill them in with a brow pencil. And as per usual, my eyebrows are looking toe up from the flow up before I go in and clean them up. So to clean them up, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color medium to clean up all of the mistakes that I always seem to make and never learn from for some reason when doing my eyebrows. Now that that's done, we're going to move on to the fun part, which is eyeshadow. So I'm lining my eyes with tape and putting concealer down on my eyelids so that the eyeshadow actually shows up and doesn't blend in with my skin. That's not what we want. So the palette that we are using today is the Tartist Pro Palette by Tarte Cosmetics. So I'm going in with the color Bold on the outer edges of my crease, and then I'm going in with the color Edgy to give it some smokiness, uh, and I'm going for a brown type of smoky look for today's look. Next, I'm going in with the color Punk, because why not? And I'm putting that on the very, very outer edges of the crease to try to give it a smoked out wing. And then on the inner corners of my eye, I'm going in with the colors Vintage and Chic kind of mixed together because it will eventually create this nude color that I'm going for so that it's nude into smoky. So that is the look that we are going for today. And you know I had to do it. Here's my handy dandy trusty napkin to push down my eyelashes so I can give myself a wing tip with my eyeliner. This is the Fenty Beauty eyeliner in the color because I'm black. So that's what I'm doing right here as you can see. And I'm going to have to do it with the other eye too because I have to. We shan't have clumped eyelashes together with eyeliner because that's not how it's supposed to be. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Ain't nobody got time for that, especially not I, not me. Next, I'm going in with some lashes, and I like for you guys to be able to see how I put my eyelashes on. I can't stand it when people just edit and the eyelashes are already on, and you're like, well, wait, how did they put them on? This is how I put them on. It's a struggle. So I want y'all to be able to see that because it's not always that easy. Sometimes the glue be getting on my eyelashes and all kind of stuff. So I want you guys to see the real. <laughs> Next is the foundation! This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in Neutral Tan. So I'm going to put that all over my face and I don't care if you think it's a lot. I like to cover up my soul with it. So that is what we're going to do. And just as a side note so that you guys are all aware, the pump on that foundation sucks! I haven't been able to use that foundation in a year because the stupid foundation would not pump out. Do you hear what I'm telling you? I've had to buy other foundations because the darn bottle would not pump it out. And it's a full bottle. I was so mad and today of all days is when it finally started to work again after me sitting there pumping for, wow, that sounded wrong, but y'all know what I mean, pumping the foundation out. Whew, Lord, help me. So 
now we're going to go in with concealer. Forget you all just heard that rant. Um, and we're going to blend that out and give my face some brightness using a beauty sponge and try not to mess up all my eye makeup. Blending is a process. I understand that it's taking a little bit of time, but this is not something that you want to rush. You will be looking like a hot, half-baked mess rushing this. And so, bear with me. Bear. How do you keep all your hard work from moving? You set it with translucent powder or foundation powder, but I don't have that. So I'm using translucent powder and I'm gonna give myself a nose with some bronzer and some cheeks with some bronzer. And this is the NYX bronzer in the color Deep. It's matte bronzer, by the way. Next up is blush. I'm going to put that on the apples of my cheeks and give it a nice pinky hue. And next up is my favorite part, highlighter. Yes, it's coming together. This is the Wet n Wild highlighter and I forgot the color, but I'll put it in the description for you. And I'm going to blind all of you with it. Yes, look at it, look at it. Blind! Oh yeah! Illuminate the face! And put it everywhere! Up above the brows! Yes! Yes! And then I'm going to spray myself with setting spray. And y'all thought I was done with the eyes? Oh no! We're using the color Leo! If you have the Amrezy palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know the blue color that I'm talking about. Oh yes, we're putting that right in the inner corners of my eye to give it a pop because it needs a pop. And like with most things that I do, I put too much. So I'm having to go back and clean it up with some makeup remover and concealer because it was bleeding down into my eyelashes and whatnot and we don't need that. So I'm just gonna do my bottom lashes with some mascara. This is the Lily Lashes Mascara in the color black so that my eyelashes are not naked on the bottom. We don't want that. Next up is the lips. I'm going in with the color espresso for my lip liner and lining my lips all with it to give them a nude ombre look to match my eyes. And I'm using this lip gloss that I got from BoxyCharm a while back. Um, can't really pronounce the brand, but here we are and here's the final look. And had to take my hair down and put it there with my face so that y'all can see. And the hair is getting on my darn nerves, but yes. I hope you all enjoyed this makeup look. I had fun doing it. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. I typically don't put pops of color in my eye, but it turned out pretty nice, I would have to say. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I will be back soon. Ta-ta and goodbye!